In this video, we're going to take a look at the inside of the new Skull Canyon Intel Nook 6 i7 KYK system. In the design, this end of the chassis actually has holes for ventilation as well as holes on the bottom plate. This end, the holes are for aesthetics. As I remove the bottom plate though, you'll notice that the Kensington lock engages the bottom plate for additional security, locking the bottom plate into place. And so here we have the inside of the chassis. <clears throat> As I mentioned earlier, air comes in from this end across the up to two M.2 SSDs, across the DIMMs, into the blower, across the processor heat sink and out. This is a fairly efficient flow through cooling system should uh, serve, serve the platform well. The M.2 sockets support both PCI Express and SATA. In this case, we have a Samsung MVME PCIe M.2 SSD. This is the 512 gig. This is one of the offerings that you can find on the Simply Nook site when you're tailoring your system. This is the fastest M.2 SSD uh, that's out on the market. This will do a sustained read of over 3 gigabytes per second and a sustained write of over 600 megabytes per second. Uh, there's both an A and a B. So we have the OS loaded here. You could have additional storage in the second socket. Here we have uh, the Kingston HyperX Impact DDR4 DIMMs. This is a standard offering from Simply Nook. And in fact, now if you order the 32 gig option for any Gen 6 platform, you will automatically get these RAMs. This is the standard RAM for 32 gigabytes. This is CL13 DIMMs. And what that means is the standard offering is cache latency 15, and there's even slower uh, cache latency 16 and 17 out there. So these cache latency 13 DIMMs have two less clock cycles of delay uh, in the uh, column address. And so this actually equates to noticeable performance improvement. These DIMMs are set up in a dual channel, dual bank, dual rank configuration to try to maximize the memory throughput. So I would expect that we're going to hit uh, very close to the maximum uh, memory performance that the processor can drive. So this is it. This is the inside of the new Skull Canyon. Thank you very much.